their first operation, they saved 26 children from sex trafficking. Their second operation, they saved 56 children from sex trafficking. Before the sheriff's debates, Jim Crocius came on for 10 minutes and informed our listeners and audience of Operation Underground Railroad. So now, without further ado, we want to get into this special little 10-minute clip and talk about Operation Underground Railroad and what you can do to help the organization as well as future operations. Everybody, if I can have your attention, our first speaker is going to talk about a very important subject, sex trafficking of children, Jim Crocius is going to speak for about 10 minutes. If you have questions, hold off till after the meeting. Jim? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Pleasure to be here to talk about a very unpleasant subject, child sex trafficking. Finally, people are starting to wake up. I have five daughters. Raised them right here in Reno. Four out of those five daughters had near abductions in our very own friendly Reno. I'll tell you of just one. Several years ago, my daughter, Jolene, stopped at a grocery store in northwest Reno. She had her toddler in the back seat. As she pulled up to get out, a white slider van pulled up next to her. She got that creepy feeling. And the Spirit of God said in her mind, get out the passenger side. She did. She got her infant out the passenger side. And she went to the grocery store. When she came out, they were still there, idling, waiting. She got in the passenger side, pulled up, took a look at their faces, and they hit the exit back to California. It's happening all the time. My other three daughters right in my neighborhood while they were abducting twice, they had to run to the clearest house, the closest house for safety. It's going to take hundreds of organizations like Operation Underground Railroad to put a dent in this problem. Good people do not know that this problem exists. I went into a business promoting our event, which is two weeks from today at the Silver Legacy. I handed my card to an owner and she said, what can I do to help? Her brother-in-law works in California as a policeman. They broke into a warehouse and found little children in cages. That's the problem. I'm here to talk about an organization that's doing something about it. They are four years old. Timothy Ballard did this for Homeland Security. There were so many requests for help around the world that he couldn't assist them. Too much government tape. He quit his job. He had no money. He went to Glenn Beck, and Glenn Beck financed his first operation with donations from his audience. Their first operation, they saved 26 children from sex trafficking. Their second operation, they saved 56 children from sex trafficking. Last week, Operation Underground Railroad, and Timothy Ballard is a YouTube star. He's everywhere. Last week, OUR, just in the beginning of their fourth year, rescued their 1,000th child. It is big business. Right now, it's a $150 billion business, not just around the world, but here at home. It cost $5,000. They went out as heroes to rescue children, and they were successful. And then they said, what do we do with them? Many of them were trafficked by their parents, and they can't go home. From that sprang OUR Aftercare, where these children now, some of them, will become, are dependent upon OUR until they are independent. 
it costs $5,000 to rescue a child. With the sting operation to bring them home and then the aftercare when you can't take some of them home. That's half what other organizations cost. There's two reasons you need to know this. All of OUR's operatives are retired from the government, so they're taking a government paycheck. They don't get big paychecks. It's more of a labor of love. And number two, they tapped into a universal website called Just Serve. And in one day, they got 4,500 volunteers. That's why they can rescue a child for half what other organizations have. My niece lives in Dover, Delaware. She was getting her toddler out of the back seat, and a man approached her, and through divine intervention, she survived. Two months later, the same parking lot, another man came up to her with a club. She reached into her purse and said, don't take another step. And he backed off. Why don't we hear more about it? Oh, I don't know. I'm not in the media, but I'm sure that it has something to do with hurting the image that we need to save for tourism. I don't know. Fortunately for social media, we're able to hear more of it. I'm out of time. We'll save questions. But if it were your child or your grandchild or your neighbor's child, is there anything you would not do to rescue that child? The low-lying fruit has been in other countries. The traffickers in America are a whole lot more techy than they are around the world. But last year, 2016, 20% of our rescues came from right here in America. Within three or four years, half of our rescues will be coming from America. Last thought. Last week, our team was at the United Nations. When we get official sanction in May, we won't have to be invited to the table. We will have our own place at the table, and we will grow because of the generosity. I've been blown away by the business owners in, a, in Reno. Almost every time I walk into the door, what can I do to help? What can I do to help? Well, there's a lot we can do to help. Thank you for your time. We want to thank Jim for the presentation tonight and bringing the awareness for the Operation Underground Railroad to the Reno area. His fundraiser is coming up. But before I go into that, I want to talk a little bit about um, going on YouTube and Google and just Google Operation Underground Railroad. You'll find just clip after clip of Tim Ballard and some of the things that they're doing. Here's, for example, of one of the operations that was undertaken. Rescue the children, and Elaine Quijano met him. Tim Ballard has one mission, to track down child traffickers. So who's Tim Ballard? Ballard worked as a special agent for the Department of Homeland Security for over 10 years. During this time, he worked on Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, as well as working as an undercover agent for the U.S. Child Sex Tourism Jump Team. From here, he had a passion to make a difference, to do so much more, to rescue more children. And that's where the Operation Underground Railroad started. So that brings us this Tuesday, March 8th. Tim will be in town, and there is a gala fundraiser at the Silver Legacy. Uh, you can go to rreno.com and buy tickets. You can also call 775 233 2203 for more information. If you simply just want to make a contribution, you can just get on your smartphone and text the word R Reno to text number 41444. Again, text to number 41444 the word R Reno. So now without further ado, I want to thank everyone for watching the sheriff interviews as well as the debates. Crimes against children is just one of the elements that we face here in Washoe County. The sheriff, issues like Tim Ballard's working on are all important and all make a difference. Hi, this is Bill, and thank you for watching. 
Go ahead and if you're not signed in, sign into your Gmail, go right up here and subscribe to RMC TV. You can go over here, watch a couple more videos, link to our website at republicanmenisclub.org. And finally, make sure you go down and leave a comment. The comments really help. See you on the next video.